Hey, Facebook world. Um, it's Thursday, just around noon here in Tucson, Arizona. Uh, we're going to start off uh, hopefully regular series of videos where we can talk about products, um, we can answer questions, um, do all that kind of stuff, just a sort of user customizable experience. But today we're just going to start off with a basic tour of trisports.com. A lot of you all, or most of you all, are not living in Tucson, so you don't get a chance to actually come into the store and see how we work. So that's going to be kind of the, the theme of today, is to just get a general overview of the business itself. And if I'm too informal, please let me know. Um, but uh, yeah, we're here in Tucson, which uh, today is actually not quite as hot as some of the other days. Uh, we've had monsoon season begin recently, so uh, it's only getting up into the upper 90s today. Um, you can kind of see our solar panel installation here that provides much welcome shade in the summer. Um, over this way, that's one of the giant rainwater catching uh, areas. Sorry, don't have a technical term for that. Maybe a future brewery location. Um, it's crucial in Tucson to park in the shade, by the way, in the summer. So as you can see, everyone's doing that. I'm also at this end of the store where we have our double endless pool. So if you're ever here for a camp, or when you're here for a camp or training camp or anything like that, you know, this is where you come in, test out your wetsuit, test out the goggles, um, really whatever. And it's two, two lanes, which is kind of cool. Um, we're also back near our fitting rooms and our, where all wetsuits get installed. So we're going to make our way. This is kind of the sail rack. Um, lots of clothes on sale, which you can also find on our website. Anything that's in the store uh, basically is also on our website at trisports.com. So everything is accessible via your work desk. Um, looks like it's uh, lunchtime right now. Mass exodus. Uh, but yeah, this is also where, like, if you ever have come here for a training camp or some sort of sponsored sponsored group, um, this is also where the uh, sort of the presentations happen. So you can give this gear talk. Dinner is frequently served there, or some such thing. Um, Tour de France, no spoilers. So we're gonna head back here through the retail area. These bikes are on super discount, by the way. Former demos. Check this out. Eleven ninety nine for an RS. That was a over twenty five hundred dollar bike when it first came out. There goes Jason, our retail manager. He makes the magic happen. <clears throat> He's also our main fitter. This is the Fit Studio, so you can see the retool move. Um, just a standard trainer, Wahoo kicker. Um, all the appropriate accessories to make sure you are one with your bicycle, which ultimately is the goal. Bicycle and man combined. Some stuff on display. We recently had our July 4th sale, so um, there's a fair amount of inventory that's gone out to deserving customers. Shoe wall. A couple spots in it. So everything that gets ordered, so if you order something on the website, sometimes if it's a certain size or a certain shoe, they have to come out and grab it directly off of our sales floor, which makes us sad, but happy. Treadmill, test out your running shoes. Password protected, though, so be sure to ask for the password. Now we've come to our bike area. So every bike that goes out, that you order online, uh, shows up from the manufacturer, we put it together, and then put it back in a trisports.com box to go out to you. So that's what's happening with this bike. That's actually what I should be doing right now. 
Just kidding. So yeah, mechanics area as well. So as you can see, there's one, two, three, four. So eight total workstations. Lots of tools. Lots of capacity for all your repair and service needs. Um, so now this this is kind of what everyone sees when they come in. You know, this is kind of the this is the outsider's perspective. But today you're going to get a pretty special insider's perspective. Um, so hold on to your seatbelts. Hopefully I don't drop the iPad when I do this. That would be bad. All right, so now we're in the warehouse. And I think most people went to lunch, so we have free reign. Um, but yeah, as you can see, basically every, every product, virtually every product that's on trisports.com is housed back here in the warehouse. So, you know, I don't know what this specific is, but this specific product is, but there's some Speedo fins. Um, that was a PZ... PZTX Blue 70 product. Um, and this all has a rhyme and reason to it that I legitimately do not understand. Uh, but that's why I work where you saw earlier, because I do not understand. But so we're gonna take we're gonna go upstairs first. Sorry for the shaky camera. I don't have a I don't have a gimbal. We're not that fancy. Um, so this is the second floor of the warehouse. So up here is mainly like shoes, wetsuits, uh, some other products, a special caged area to hold the super high ticket items like your zip wheels and stuff. Um, but this will let us kind of get a cool overhead perspective on everything. Interestingly, I didn't know this before, but Every rental wetsuit uh, is checked and boxed before being shipped out to you guys. So they they get checked basically every time they get rented, which is kind of cool. That's what those are. Those are all rental wetsuits. All right, so hopefully I'm not violating OSHA by leaning over here, but this is kind of the, this is the back area. So every product that comes in basically comes through that door and is received, stickered, etc., and then goes into one of these bins that we've seen before. Um, and then we'll kind of get to take a closer look at the shipping area a little later. But um, warrant anything you return to us is down behind that forklift, that kind of like little office area you can see down there. Um, and then we deal with uh, either returning it to the manufacturer or inspecting it or whatever, what have you. Um, so, let's see. So you can kind of see the shipping area. I, this is this place was a crazy hub of activity during that July 4th sale. We, luckily, it was a lot of orders, and we had to ship out a lot of products. <laughs> this is the <laughs> this is the IT department, so they're right there. <laughs> Um, working, working on computers. I don't really get what they do. So, we'll just leave it at that. Although I know it's incredibly important because that affects your user experience and obviously that matters to us. Alrighty. So a lot, I'm not going to go in there because they're taking phone calls and stuff right now, but, um, the, uh, this is the customer service department, so they're, one, a couple of them went to lunch, uh, but anytime you call us, you know, it's a person picking up the phone um, and answering your questions and hopefully satisfying your customer service needs.
one of the cool things that at least I've liked about working here, um, I'm a bit of a gear nerd, so it's pretty cool being able to, you know, get products when they first come out that nobody really has hands-on experience with, and then going back here and saying, I wonder, you know, for example, the profile design area ultimate stem and handlebar that just came out, um, being able to look at that and say, so this, I don't know, this is how this actually works and looks, because, you know, you read reviews online sometimes, and it's just hard to figure out for your use case, uh, whether it's going to work for you, which is, <clears throat> that part's pretty cool. So that's a benefit, some of the, we could potentially have in the future where if you have questions about a product that we're featuring, you know, I can go and grab it from the back and we can, my opinion on it may not matter at all, but you can at least see it in a sort of more personal way than just reading, you know, the latest review from some online publication, which they were likely paid to do, so... This area is the nutrition area. Lots of nutrition. Some of it good, some of it not so good. But of course that's subjective. Unfortunately, Uncrustables aren't a great nutri sports nutrition product as I discovered training for my first Ironman. Um, I'm just gonna see if I can find the prime stuff. Anyway, that's pretty much the warehouse. It's a little quiet right now, so um, don't judge it completely because of this one moment. They may have seen I was coming around and then nobody wants to be on video, which is why I'm doing not doing selfie mode because I don't want to be on camera either. So now we're back out in retail. Oh, we've got another, got another, uh, that's Pam. Pam handles all the sponsorship. She's a sponsorship manager. I'm making a purchase. Oh, and she's, yeah, she's buying. Look, we buy things too. Yeah, I've spent more money than I've made here. <laughs> um, so now we're going to get a real quick look of, uh, uh, not the bathrooms. Sorry, you don't want to go back there. Um, heading through the... So now we're in the. This is where every product that Tri Sports wants to have, needs to have, gets ordered, is from one of these desks. And everyone's. I, I, I swear people heard I was going to do this and they started leaving. Um, more desks. There's Steph. Hello. Marketing. This was her idea, so blame her. <laughs> Just kidding, it was mine. This is where the website gets designed and built. And again, that's something I don't understand, so that's why I'm the one behind the camera and not in front of the computer. <clears throat> Let's see. There's Nathan, Howdy. marketing. Now we're... Heading down here, we've got accounting, more offices, more offices. Now we're back in the, now we're back in the fit room. Oh look, someone's chiming in from Puerto Rico. I've never, actually I think I have been there. I don't know, that's kind of a general, I'm kind of, I don't really want to go outside for very long because it's really hot. So, now we're outside, it's really hot. I think I've actually already started to sweat. You can see you roll up to, to our parking lot, trysports.com, solar power. It's much more popular here than where I moved from, North Carolina. There, that's Palo Verde, and then uh, I-10's kind of just a little south of us, and kind of the main, you can't see it unfortunately, but kind of the main 
part of downtown of Tucson is roughly that way. <clears throat> uh, head back in so I can get back into the air conditioning. There's TJ Tollickson and Miranda Carfrey. Obviously, you probably know who they are if you're in the triathlon. <clears throat> Mountain bikes in stock, tri bikes, road bikes. One of the coolest bikes in store right now, I think, is this uh, Lightspeed T5G, um, which is their gravel bike. Ultegra Di2, Shimano hydraulic disc brakes through axles. Um, titanium. It's interesting, before moving here to Tucson, I never really thought that these bikes would, were useful, but then I started riding some of the pavement here, and there's actually a lot of gravel roads, um, so the appeal became a lot more understandable than Charlotte, North Carolina. Here's a good example of a bike that's been ordered online and now needs to get built, um, and then put in, our, put in a box and shipped back out to the customer. Um, which I would do a time-lapse video, but I don't want you to see how fast and amazing I am at putting the bike together. Um, so that's pretty much that's pretty much the tour. Uh, unfortunately, some people were gone um, because I gave them prior warning. Next time, it should be a surprise. Um, <clears throat> so in the future, you know, we'd like to, we'd really like to take customer input and say if you want to, if you want a review of a specific product or you want, uh, I don't know, some sort of information that you think we can provide, uh, then we'd love to sort of <clears throat> have that back and forth dialogue, uh, remotely, uh, and if you're here in Tucson, obviously you should stop by, trysports.com. Um, we're just south of the city, but from basically any portion. The weird thing about Tucson is that every, everything seems to be 20 minutes away, even if you're really close to it, uh, which is a difficult thing to describe, but I think that's true. Um, <clears throat> so we're a pretty easy stop for most people, and we're actually really close to a couple of major uh, bike path routes, uh, aviation, bikeway is just north of us, and the Julian Wash Greenway is just south of us, which um, those connect to various portions of the loop to make, um, I think it's over, it's, a, it's around 100K, so maybe like 60 or 70 miles that they're still looking to finish. So I think that's going to be it for now. Um, but if you tuned in, thanks for tuning in, and hopefully we'll see you guys again soon. Be sure to check out trysports.com for any of your uh, shopping needs. We're always there.